It needs to be taken. It says on the police cars, serve and protect. If they're beating on somebody, they're not serving and protecting. Cell phone video captures controversial moments following a police chase in Hammond. Good evening, everyone. I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Cherie Skipson. The Hammond Police Department is investigating some of its own officers. The officer appears to be hitting and kneeing a suspect after they captured him onto the ground. Erica Ferranda reports on the incident that happened in February. shows moments after a police chase in Hammond with the suspect on the ground. According to the Hammond Police Department, it happened February 26th. The department says police tried to pull over David Jenkins Jr. for traffic violations. Police say he sped off and crashed into another car here at Morrison Boulevard and University Avenue. Police say he ran away. By the time the video starts, officers have him on the ground. The video appears to show an officer hitting Jenkins several times. Then the officer next to him appears to move the first officer hand away. Our partners at NOLA.com obtained the video taken by someone who wants to remain anonymous. If we hit one of the cops, well, we get charged with assault on a police officer. Well, they sitting there, they punched him four or five times, kneed him, and sick the dog on him after he, they got four or five people on him. You know, it, it's not right. Jenkins' father, David Jenkins, says he's considering taking legal action. He told me he had to go to the doctor that night and get a, uh, I guess a, they gave him a tetanus shot. A spokesperson for the Hammond Police Department says a thorough internal investigation into the officer's actions is ongoing. According to Hammond Police, Jenkins was booked on multiple charges, including resisting an officer by flight. His father says he has a court date this week. No matter what wrong he was doing, that doesn't give anybody right to beat him. We asked for comment from the city's police chief and mayor. The Hammond City spokesperson said it would not be appropriate for them to comment while the investigation is ongoing. However, several city council members gave comments to the newspaper expressing concern. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. Now, according to Hammond Police, there were two other people hurt in the crash. They were taken to the hospital. Both are expected to recover.